Today's Tea with Julie is called Be Open to Surprise. If we want our kids to be open to surprise, then so should we be. One of the most difficult parts of any relationship is the fantasy we create in our heads of how it should go as compared with how it really is. We have scripts, we have characters, we have motivations. All of these items add up to wishing for actions like these. Appreciative words, flowers on the right day, a spontaneously cleaned up space without anyone asking, sharing freely, affection and warmth, cooperation, sincerely listening, not judging, space for our breakdowns, help right at the moment, not because we asked for it. Then we walk into our days unaware of these well-directed scenes at work in our subconscious, and we measure the people we love by them. She didn't even notice her mess from last night. Why are they fighting again? Isn't anyone aware that I need help? Once these imagined scenarios get a grip, we become easily disillusioned or despondent when we're faced with a scene that does not match our hopes. Stay open to surprise. Brave Rider has a lot going on this summer, and I want to make you aware of it. First, we offer online classes that are appropriate for electives, such as fan fiction and writing the short story, or even world building or comic strip capers. These are terrific experiences in writing for your kids that don't feel like school, that accomplish all the goals you have for them to grow as writers. You can find out more about our online class program by clicking the link in the show notes or going to bravewriter.com and scrolling down to the link on the homepage. The summer is also a great time to learn more about our literature programs. Brave Writer offers you a monthly guide, what we call a handbook, that teaches you how to teach the mechanics of writing naturally. So all that stuff you worry about, like punctuation and grammar and spelling, and whether they understand literary devices or literary analysis, we accomplish all that through picking a series of books to read with your kids and then drawing lessons from that literature so that your children will have a really solid foundation in both writing and analyzing and enjoying literature. The quill is designed for five to seven-year-olds and even includes math. The dart is for eight to 10-year-olds. The arrow is for 11 and 12-year-olds. The boomerang is for kids 13 and 14. And then we round it all out with your college prep level for 15 to 18-year-olds called the slingshot. To learn more about the way Brave Rider works, Go to bravewriter.com and then select the age range that is appropriate for your children, and you will have all the products, classes, and resources you need to have a fabulous homeschooling year with Brave Rider. Thanks for letting us serve you, and now let's get back to the episode. But sometimes, if we stay open, we can hold back from projecting our expectations onto the ones we love. We might find ourselves surprised. The only part we have to play is sharing an honest feeling with our family members. Gosh, I feel discouraged. I can't rise above the mess to see the good in today. It pains me when I hear fighting between kids that I love. Via text, help, I feel abandoned and unimportant. Some days, if we can let it all out on paper or to a friend, we can then stay present to the surprise, an unexpected hug or love text, the cleanup of a small area, even if not the whole thing, kids who repair their relationships without any intervention from you, a surprise offer to get you a cup of tea or a glass of juice. Maybe someone will draw you a picture, strewing crayons and bits of paper in its wake, but the illustration is priceless goodwill coming your way. 
the gift will likely not look like what you imagine in your head. I know what it feels like to spiral, to imagine that everyone has missed your obvious need and pain. See if you can get a handhold somewhere. Give yourself a pep talk. This feeling is temporary. You can take care of yourself. You will find your joy and equilibrium again. Express a real feeling, not an expectation or disappointment, and stay open to the possibility of being surprised. I printed the following reminders for myself, and it hangs on my wall. Trust your boundaries. Follow your feelings. Choose your words. Be surprised. See how that goes. I'm Julie Bogart. This is the Tea with Julie series, and you're listening to the Brave Writer podcast. If you'd like to read these messages, you can. Feel free to sign up for the Tea with Julie email series that comes out each Saturday. It is marketing free, and you can sign up at bravewriter.com slash T-E-A. So glad you're here.